What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Yana Simone, and I'm back with another video, obviously. Obviously. I mean, like, y'all see me, I see y'all. I don't see y'all, but y'all gonna see me. So, you already know what I'm about to say. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now, because after you watch this video, you're gonna wanna come back. You're gonna wanna come back. I promise you that. I really do. And if you watch any of my videos and don't subscribe, you are what? You are what? Y'all know. You are trifling. You are trifling. You're disgusting. You're nasty. You should feel ashamed of yourself. Okay? Okay? And if you're offended, subscribe. Oh, what? Yeah, that'll fix all that, you know? Just saying. But today, I got a little video for y'all. I got a little video, you know? It's, it's about one o'clock in the morning so you know hair is looking a little frizzy mind y'all i've had this hair on for a while now even though i just posted that video i wore this hair for a while but yeah so and i was just like thinking i'm like you know a lot of people have been asking me since i got monetized yana how do you get monetized yana what did you do to get monetized yo you got some tips and tricks i do <laughs> I do. And that's what this video is for. Cause I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and record. So if I look a little messy, a little uh y'all know why. This was this wasn't planned. This was not a planned video. This was a oh, spur of the moment. So I got your tips, I got your tricks, and let's get you to monetization. Monetization monetization. Monetization monetization. Monetization. Y'all know what I mean. So, and I don't have a list. I'm just, you know, telling y'all off the zone. Telling y'all off the zone so you know it's real. So you know it's real. So you know it's real. But anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get to it. The requirements to get monetized in the first place that you have to reach is you must have a thousand subscribers on YouTube and you have to have 4,000 watch hours not minutes hours because if you have a youtube studio which i highly recommend if you don't if you have a youtube channel and don't have youtube studio baby what are you doing what are you doing that's one of the key things that you need for this whole operation to work youtube studio download the app right now but before you get monetized it'll tell you minutes not hours so that had me confused at first. I'm like, yo, like, I'm confused. I've got my 1,000, I've got my 1,000 subscribers. And this thing over here telling me I got 15,000 watch hours. But it had minutes in parentheses. So then I was like, oh, these are minutes. I need hours. So I tried to do the math myself. And I was a little off, but I was type close. Just a little bit off. But yes, so you need 4,000 watch hours. Honestly, I can't even tell you how many minutes that is. So if I figure it out or find something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it right here. But if I don't, my bad, my bad, y'all. I cannot remember off the top of my head. But yes, you have to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. Now that you know what you need, let me tell you these tips and tricks to get you there. These aren't in any specific order. These are just you know off the dome, off the dome. This whole video is off the dome, baby. But. These are facts, these are gems, these are tips and tricks that I used. And now I'm here. Now we're here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Y'all my team, y'all my team, and we, we going up. First, what you wanna do is promote, 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 promote. Literally promote yourself all the time because you have to have at least a thousand subscribers. So promote yourself, get people to subscribe, send your link to people, post on TikTok, post little snippets of your videos, the funny parts, the interesting parts, the good parts, the parts that are like the main key to your video, all that good stuff. So people are interested. TikTok, people be sleep on TikTok. They be like, oh, TikTok, dude. Don't sleep on TikTok because TikTok, 
is a great place to market and to help you grow on your other socials, including that one. It's really good. So you want to market yourself. You want to promote yourself. All that. Like, don't overdo it. Because then people are kind of like, uh, like, okay, you're doing too much. But do it just enough to where it's like, okay, I keep seeing this. Okay, let me subscribe. Okay, let me watch their videos. Let me, you know, like, get into it. Tap in, whatever. But yeah, make sure you promote yourself because you definitely get your subscribers up. You have to. You have to have a thousand or you're not eligible. Next, what you want to do is post good content. Content is key. Consistency consistency <laughs> is also key seriously though like you have to post good quality content don't be posting i done told y'all this before don't be posting no videos you done recorded off your tablet off your remote off your ps4 off your computer camera we need good quality and i'm sorry to the android user you gotta have a good camera too ain't no slow-mo okay right now i'm using an iphone to record this video you see the quality is good quality you don't even have to have the newest iphone iphone 6 quality is it ain't the best but baby it's good it's still good like you don't you don't have to go out and buy a camera you don't have to go out and buy nothing fancy just make sure whatever you record on has good quality okay another thing with having good content post trending stuff like if there's a challenge out or if there's like a specific type of video that a lot of people are doing like when lyric pranks were first like popping everybody was doing lyric pranks like that something that is trending something that a lot of people are searching up looking up and watching because that is another way to one get your subscribers up two get your watch hours up because if people watch that whole video your watch hours and your watch time goes up but you want to have trending content good content quality content you have to have good videos okay there's another reason why having youtube studio and checking your analytics in your youtube studio is really good because youtube studio will tell you it'll give you the average time when everybody starts to leave your video let me let me let me let me break it down a little bit more so you post a video it's been a couple days you go check your analytics in your youtube studio and you see that majority of people are leaving that video at three minutes and 20 seconds so what you want to do is go watch that video and either watch up to the three minutes and 20 seconds or go to the three minutes and 20 seconds and figure out what it was that made people leave the video if you have several videos go look at the average drop off time for all of those videos and if it's close to the same time you need to figure out what am i doing or what am i not doing that's making people leave my video are they getting bored like, figure it out you have to figure out what it is that makes people not want to watch the video anymore because how else are you going to know what to change in order to get people to watch your video longer in order to increase your watch time in order to get monetized on youtube that's another key thing that i do and still do to kind of figure out okay what do i need to change what should I do different? What should I stop doing? You know, to figure out how can I get people to watch my videos longer? One thing you can do to get people to watch your videos longer is maybe say watch to the end or the beginning of the video or kind of kind of keep them intrigued. Like say so there's a surprise at the end of your video and tell them something or I don't know, like, you know, just keep like, just do something that will keep them throughout the video, whatever it is that you think would work best for your channel, your subscribers, the people that watch your videos, what do you think would keep them interested throughout the entire video? What would keep them till the end? Now, don't lie. Don't lie and say, oh, um, giveaway, da 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 and then don't do a giveaway. Don't tell them to watch the whole video and that there's a giveaway at the end of the video and then you don't even do a giveaway or anything like that. Just don't lie. Please do not be one of those people that lie, say they're going to do this and that or this is going to happen at the end of the video and it doesn't. That's how you lose subscribers. That's how you lose watch time. That's how you lose people's trust and loyalty towards you and your channel. Don't do that. We don't do that. We, don't, we keep it real. We keep it 100% real, okay? Another thing that you want to do 
is be interactive with your subscribers. If they comment on your video, comment back. Simple. Being interactive with your subscribers, one, if they haven't subscribed but they commented, might make them want to subscribe. They're like, oh, you know, they responded to me. Oh, I like this person. Oh, they're cool. I actually like their videos. I like their channel. This, that, and the third. Then boom, subscriber. Or people realize that you're interactive with your subscribers. Therefore, they like you more. Or they want you to be interactive with them as well. So they subscribe. And why wouldn't you want to be interactive with your subscribers? Y'all supposed to be like gang, like family, like friends. Like y'all know that's your people. Interact with them. Plus that also helps boost your video recommendations. And just boosting your videos in general for more people to see it. Because YouTube notices that you're interactive. You're commenting back. Therefore it'll suggest your video more. Because you're active that's what helped me that's what helped some of my videos go up more because i'm interactive with the people that comment on my videos and i try to stay active as possible on my page even if i'm not posting a video if y'all go look at my videos and look at the comments i'm responding to people i'm liking comments i'm commenting with them like i'm talking to them in the comments because one I care about my supporters and I appreciate them. And I appreciate all the love and support that my supporters show me because without them, there's no me. I mean, I'm still here, but am I really? You feel me? Am I really? So yeah, it's really good to stay interactive with your subscribers and comment back. Don't be bougie. Don't think you're better than somebody else. Don't do it. Don't be that person. Don't be that YouTuber that is interactive with their people. Consistency is really key though. Y'all know this. If you don't know this by now, where have you been? Have you been living under a rock? Like really? Everybody should know that consistency is key. Not even to just YouTube, to anything in life in general, but especially with YouTube because if YouTube notices that you're consistent, they'll think, oh, you're taking it serious. Therefore, they'll want to you know boost your videos therefore you you get on the good side with the youtube algorithm therefore your videos will start doing better therefore growth in subscribers and watch time so be consistent and if you can set up a schedule for when you post your videos that would honestly be one of the best ways to one make sure your subscribers are tuned in because they know when you're posting a video therefore they know when to tune in and go watch your videos and youtube will be able to predict when you're posting a new video because you have been consistently posting on the same days at the same time which means youtube can predict when you are going to post a new video which means they're more likely to suggest that video to other people and to just boost it on your subscribers feed or timeline so that's why it's really good to have like a set schedule on when you post and stay committed to that set schedule because it really helps you get on the good side of youtube's algorithm which once again increases your subscriber count because it's getting pushed up more and suggested more to other people that aren't subscribed and hopefully if you follow some of the other tips and tricks that i gave you they will stay on your video longer and your watch time can also increase. So after you're eligible to get monetized, you do not get monetized right away. You have to apply and then they'll check your page, check your YouTube and make sure everything follows the YouTube community guidelines. Because if you do not follow those guidelines or there's too many, um, there's too many, I don't even know the word. What's the word? Too many, not penalties, but guideline violations that's it that's it oh feeling smart now nah, let me stop but seriously if there's too many guideline violations in your videos like cussing um content you know i, I don't want to say those words too loud just in case because i might get demonetized that's another video but certain things like if you go look at the community guidelines certain things if you have too much of that on your channel they won't monetize you or if you do get monetized like after applying and everything and you have that like in one of your videos they'll demonetize you as in you're not getting ads in your video you're not getting paid anything from that video because you did too much cussing or there was just inappropriate stuff in the video 
So that's why you also, after getting monetized, you have to be careful about what you post, what you say, and what you do in your videos. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before you even get monetized, you have to apply. They have to approve your account and make sure everything's in line. You, you're not out here doing nothing sneaky, nothing slick. You don't have like fake subscribers. Cause apparently you can do that now. Like I think, I did not know you could do that. But if you have that, they'll know. YouTube is smart. YouTube is smart. Don't ever think you could play YouTube. They will get you. After getting accepted into the program, you then have a threshold that you need to meet before you can get paid. So the threshold is $100. You have to reach the threshold of $100 in ad revenue before you can even get paid or like get your payout or whatever, get the check, anything. You can't do anything with that money that you have or make from any of those ads until you reach the threshold of $100. If you're not making $100, you're not getting that money simple that's why after you get monetized you can't like back up off the channel oh i'm gonna post in a couple days after i said i was gonna post no you gotta stay with it you have to stay with it or you're not gonna get a bag it's not easy it's not extremely hard either but it's not easy like some people think oh i'm about to get on youtube oh i'm about to get a bag it's work so if you don't actually enjoy it you're gonna be miserable because you'll be like i'm doing all this work da, da, da. where's my money da, da. Don't get into YouTube for the money. Don't do it. Because then you're going to be upset. And yeah, unless, I don't even know. Like me, I actually enjoy this. I actually enjoy making videos. Talking to y'all in the camera, I love it. I love it. Like, I know I'm not talking to y'all, but I'm talking to y'all. And y'all not really talking back to me yet. But when I post a video, y'all going to be talking back. And then we can really get to chatting. But don't get into YouTube for the money, for real, for real. Don't do it. It takes time, it takes patience, and it takes passion, passion. So after you are eligible to get monetized, it doesn't come to you right away, you don't get the money right away, you don't even get accepted right away. It takes, they say it takes about a month at the most, but mine took probably two weeks, maybe a week and a half. And it just depends if they're busy or not and if a lot of people are putting in applications at the same time as you. That's really it for this video. Um, I gave y'all the tips and tricks that I use and a few things that helped me because a lot of people were asking me, oh, how do you get monetized? This, that, and the third. I do have other things I could say after being monetized, but not much right now because I've only been monetized for maybe like a week or two. So there's not much else I can say about after the fact yet. But when I do, you know, learn a little bit more, get my first check and everything, I'll let you guys know and we can do another little video on that. But if you guys still have any more questions, feel free to ask. I can answer a few questions. I know I'm not going to have the answers to everything because I'm also still learning. This is all still new to me. So I hope that my little video could help you. And I hope I didn't miss anything. Y'all know it's like one, probably two o'clock in the morning now. I'm tired. This video was unplanned, but I felt the need to do it. So therefore, here we are. I, I did it. And if I feel like there's more that I need to tell y'all after I upload this video and everything, I got y'all with a part two. I got y'all. But yes, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. Like, it's only up from here. Like, I got y'all with more videos. Oh, I'm so excited. But thank you guys so much for everything. Your love, your support. I love it. And also, if you're interested, your girl started a business. Your girl started a business. That's another reason why I was a little bit inconsistent because I was trying to start a business. So I started a business. Maddie Deluxe, if you guys are interested, want to shop with me, here it is. I'll leave the link in the description box down below. You know the vibes. If you rocking with me, I need you to drop a pink heart. That's how I know who the real ones are. That's how I know. If you really rocking with me, drop a pink heart. It don't matter which one. As long as it's pink, I know you rocking with me. And I know you stay to the end of this video. And I know you a real one. Uh, don't be disgusting. Don't be trifling. Don't be nasty. Don't watch this video and not subscribe. Okay? Okay, I'm looking out for you, boo-boo. I don't want you to be dirty, but I do not want you to be a dirty, but that's it. That's it for real, for real. I love you guys. I love you guys. I'm going to see y'all again. Y'all going to see me again, and we're going to be back. Mwah. Goodbye.